Replacing doors and windows in Revit is extremely easy and you follow the same process for both. Starting out in floor plan level 1, if you go to the tool tray and choose door, go up to the options bar and pull down the type of door you want. In this case we'll put in a front entrance door. As you hover over the walls you'll notice um, you can only place a door where there's a wall. Go ahead and click to place it. And I'm going to hit escape a couple times to get out of the door tool. It doesn't matter if the door is exactly where you want it because uh, next we'll dimension in order to precisely place the door in the wall. Now that the door is placed, um, go over to the tool tray to the left, choose dimension tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Click on the face of the wall and come over to place our uh, second dimension point. Uh, this time you hover over uh, the edge you want to dimension to and in the bottom left corner you'll notice that Revit is telling you what edge it thinks that you're grabbing that you want to grab. Uh, if you, you can toggle that through all of the different edges using the tab button. So if you use the tab key on the keyboard you can toggle to the door because in this case we want it to dimension to the door not to the wall. I'm going to repeat this to the other side of the wall. Revit will automatically try to align the dimension to the previous dimension that was paid, put down. One final dimension to the wall edge. I'm going to hit escape a couple times to get out of the dimension tool. Uh, if the door is not oriented the way you want it, uh, select the door and you can choose the control arrow and that will toggle back and forth uh, what direction that the, the door is facing. To slide the door left and right uh, to get it to the place you want it to. First uh, click on the door and then that will highlight the dimensions that are associated to the door. At this point you can now click on the dimension that you want to change, click enter, and it should slide the door over. Placing windows uh, works exactly the same way. Uh, in this case we'll place three windows in the wall in this room and then we'll equally space them. Uh, so to do that Go to the tool tray at the left, click Window, pull down the type you want, hover over the wall to place them. In this case, we'll place three of them. I'm going to hit Escape to get out of the Window tool. And now I'm going to place my dimensions. So go to the tool tray, click Dimension, start with the interior face of the wall. Uh, in this case, I'm going to hover over the window. Now I want the center line of the window. Um, so I'm going to hover over until I see the center line of the window, click my dimension, and I'm going to keep going to keep the same dimension string going so that it gives me the option to equally space them. So continue over, click the second window at its center line, and then the third, and then finish at the wall face. Finally, I'm going to move up and place the dimension. Now, since this is a continuous dimension string, it gives me the option to equally space them. If I click on the equal space button, it will space them equally um, on the wall. 